It's another slice of nice on Thursday with low humidity and plenty of sunshine. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center, where you can see it's dry all across East Tennessee tonight. Very comfortable, in fact. The ultimate Doppler radar presented by your local Marco's Pizza. Maybe you're hungry for a snack tonight. Go to Marco's.com. They're also uh, corporate sponsors of No Kid Hungry, so they do give back quite a bit to the local community. Check them out in Hardin Valley, Farragut, Maryville, Fountain City. They also have locations in Halls, Oak Ridge, Middlebrook Pike, and Ebenezer Road. Maybe you're you're hungry tonight for a pepperoni magnifico or maybe you've got your eyes on lunch tomorrow lunch plans with a pozzoli very tasty indeed i've got to tell you what this is amazing too because one of the cool things they have now out in our mailboxes are the marco's pizza coupons with the tennessee football schedule so if you're not aware the first game is against chattanooga on august 31st uh, be on the lookout in your mailbox you might find this in the mail today so keep an eye on that but by the way marco's.com one of the best places to go if you are hungry and are hungry for some pizza Radar showing a quiet weather here in Tennessee. We have some uh, little green boxes suggesting some river flooding west of Nashville, north of Bowling Green. But if you see the yellow areas, that would represent severe thunderstorm watches, and they run through basically north and south Dakota till 9 o'clock Mountain Time, and then into parts of western Nebraska, eastern Colorado, for example. So there's still some severe weather popping out across parts of the country, and still some active weather near Houston, stretching into Louisiana. Now, we will go down for this month, for the 24th, uh, 2024, as the top four wettest Mays of all time. Now, there's 153 years of record keeping here. They go back all the way to 1871. So if you want to put this into context, yes, we picked up an inch and a half on Memorial Day, which was no fun, but 8.52 is more than twice, more than double the average amount, which is 4.13. So it's an amazing uh, statistic, given the fact that our April was below average, March was slightly above average, and February was slightly below. Uh, January was above with over six inches, but we were coming off a of fall season uh, very, very dry. October, September last year, even November. Uh, we could have used the rain, but now we've got it in excess. High temperature today hit 80. I was expecting 79. We started the morning off at 59. Record high 95, set back in 1914. Here are the numbers for today. We saw a high of 81, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Oak Ridge. While it was 80 in Maryville and Alcoa, 78 Morristown, but it was 7 degrees cooler in Crossville today, they were at 73, while Knoxville hit 80 officially. But look at that, it was 10 degrees cooler in Fayette County, Kentucky, in Lexington, and 76 there in Bowling Green earlier this afternoon. So high temperatures did vary uh, from west to east, north to south. Notice the clouds, there's just been puffy cumulus clouds dancing across the screen. A lot of it's fading away with the lower angle of the sun, but we will continue to see mostly clear skies tonight, that I can assure you, and it will be comfortable, a lot cooler with temperatures dropping dropping down into the lower to mid 50s. I got to stand to 53 tonight, so it will be a few degrees cooler come tomorrow. Meanwhile, the dew points uh, look like autumn. I mean, when they're in the 40s, which is where they are at 8 o'clock on a, on a Wednesday night, it's remarkably cool, and some of us will be waking up tomorrow morning on the cool side, no doubt. But those are the dew points. That's the temperature at which water vapor condenses. And you'll notice the green high humidity around Memphis and Jackson, Tennessee. That all stays there. There's also some green areas around the outer banks of North Carolina. But as we head into tomorrow, we're just going to see a retreat of that green ooze staying south of Birmingham, staying south of Memphis for the most part. But boy, does it get dry really dry. Our dew points by Friday morning will be across the border, more likely in the 40s and stay there for a while uh, before we start to see the increase in humidity in time for the weekend. Certainly next week it'll come back. As you can see, it's trying to come back by midday Saturday around Nashville and approaching the plateau. That's when we'll see the best chance of some showers. So if you like the slice of nice, if you like the low humidity, uh, I'll have more, please. Yes, East Tennessee's weather this week is picture perfect. Headlines, we're talking comfortable on Thursday, more sunshine on Friday, and then some spotty rain developing west of I-75 on Saturday. I left a 20% a chance. I don't expect that rain to make it to Morristown. I don't expect it to make it to Del Rio or Cosby or Dandridge because you are east of I-75. But west of I-75 like Wartburg or Jamestown are fair game for a passing shower later in the day on Saturday. Let me show you the severe weather uh, maps uh, from our friends at the Storm Prediction Center. For Thursday, uh, all the burden is going to be down in the yellow areas from Oklahoma City 
to Wichita Falls and Amarillo, Abilene. These are the areas that could receive scattered severe storms, and that includes Dallas, Fort Worth, as well as Austin. Uh, Houston might get some isolated severe storms as well. Nothing going on here. It's a Chamber of Commerce type of day. By Friday, it's still over Dallas and Houston for scattered severe storms. Weather's not going to be great here. That includes uh, Tyler, Texas. It includes Waco, Austin, and Shreveport there in Louisiana. Baton Rouge might get some isolated severe storms as well, as well as Memphis, because they're shaded in a dark color of green. Meanwhile, Friday, pretty quiet here, still comfortable. But the future cast shows this front moving off the coast of the Outer Banks. We've got high humidity there for now. And then at noontime tomorrow to 5 o'clock, it's absolutely delightful. Where is the rain? You've got to go all the way back toward Kansas City or Springfield, Missouri. That's where it's going to be bottled up through midday on Friday. Kansas City could find some storms there by 5 o'clock on Friday afternoon. And then lo and behold, here comes the warm front coming through places like Jackson, Tennessee, Bowling Green. And that might trigger an isolated shower or storm as it tries to move from Nashville to Cookville and maybe from Cookville to Jamestown. So that's 5, 5, 15 Saturday. It's just not making it to Dandridge or Morristown. So expect a dry day for you and a 20% chance west of I-75. Now, Sunday's a different story. Uh, it's a different, uh, different situation. By 5 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, we may be dealing with some scattered showers. I left a 40% chance. It doesn't look all that bad. Future visibility uh, may include some patches of dense fog, especially for the Commonwealth of Kentucky, north of Corbin, northwest of Monticello, and maybe back toward Greene County and back toward the Tri-Cities. It does not appear to be an issue for the Valley tomorrow, but of course, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. So let's get to your forecast here on a, uh, on a Wednesday night. Mostly clear, it's cooler. Maybe a few extra clouds late tonight as the winds change from northwest to northeast, 3 to 8, but a low temperature of 53. That is not, I say not, indicative of what you'll see in the plateau. Places like Oneida, Oh, Wartburg and Crossville, about 49, 46 for Bell County, Middlesboro, Crater City, 49 for Jonesville, but many of us stop into the low to mid 50s here in the Valley. 78 tomorrow, another slice of nice, keep it coming. We're only getting spoiled, but temperatures tomorrow should reach 77 for La Follette, 75 for Morristown, looking for a high in Teleco Plains and Madisonville, right around 79 on your Thursday afternoon. Kingston. Harriman and Rockwood about 79 as well. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee. The key word here is pleasant. The password is pleasant with low humidity going into Friday. Now come uh, say Sunday morning, you'll feel a difference because lows are in the 60s. That's when the humidity returns. So we've got highs in the low to mid 80s on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. About a 30 to 40% chance of rain in the early part of next week. And there is still some discrepancies or differences in the data for early next week as far as the likelihood. So it may go up, it may go down, but uh, it will be a little more unsettled next week as compared to the next two days, which are absolutely delightful. By the way, if you haven't picked up the new, uh, I say new and improved, uh, it's been a new and improved since last fall, the new update from the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic. It's always new and improved when you've got Pete Michaels Traffic. It's like weather and traffic perfect together. Just search the two words Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care. Oh, my God.